This is a Penrose staircase, also known as the infinite or impossible staircase. If you wonder why it's called that, take a close look at its structure. It's always ascending. Step after step, its climbers never cease to ascend or descend. Now try to forget that it's an impossible staircase. You will find it impossible because your intelligence won't allow it. You have just enough intelligence to realize that this object couldn't exist in reality, that it couldn't be part of the natural world we live in. But, you know what? A chimpanzee wouldn't realize this. It would see it as just another natural element, in the same way that perhaps we see the universe as natural. The infinite staircase of intelligence. We are the most intelligent species known in the universe. This statement is not as vague or unclear as when we discuss whether an animal has consciousness or not. It is a fact that we are the most intelligent species on this planet. If intelligence could be placed on a kind of staircase, humans would be on a step above all other species, which would occupy various steps, but in any case, we would be on the top one, at least on this planet. Imagine you're a chimpanzee, the species that is just one step below Homo sapiens sapiens. These primates are well known for having a simple language, being able to make tools, and for developing emotional bonds very similar to those of humans. They are very intelligent, but not as much as we are. Now imagine that as a chimpanzee you look at a building. For you, that building would be like a mountain. It sounds strange, but that's how it is. The intelligence of a chimpanzee doesn't allow it to grasp the concept that the building is a human construction, something anthropogenic, something different from the nature it knows. When a chimpanzee sees a building, it can't comprehend that it has been built by a human being, let alone understand how it was done, seeing it merely as another mountain, indistinguishable from the rest of nature. No matter how much we try to teach it, its intelligence has a limit that would prevent it from understanding the concept of a building. This mental exercise is very useful to get an idea of how animal intelligence is similar to a staircase. We could place all species on different steps according to their level of intelligence. For example, bacteria would be at the very bottom, ants a bit higher. Above them would be cats, and at the very top would be chimpanzees and dolphins, surpassed only by a single step by humans. Well, Flash, what are you trying to tell me with this that we all already know? Contrary to what we would normally assume, it is most likely that humans are not the last step, but merely one more step, and that there are almost certainly many more above us. Let's stop here and think about what I just said. It's very likely that somewhere in the universe there is an intelligence that differs from ours, in the same way we differ from bacteria. That's right. But the thing doesn't end here. Remember the example of the chimpanzee, incapable of comprehending the concept of a building, and let's go down many more steps. An ant doesn't have the intelligence to be aware of your existence. It perceives you as a threat, but never comes to conceive the concept of a superior animal. It can sense you. It can see you as a threat, but it doesn't understand that you are a large animal. It simply sees you in a way similar to how we view black holes, or Jonas Tim Henman, thinking that black holes in the universe might be living beings beyond our comprehension, though I'm not ruling that out completely. Unfortunately, it's not just a matter of time for a living being to understand a superior reality. No matter how much time you give to a chimpanzee, imagine we somehow manage to make them live for thousands of years, and even if they have the best teachers, they will never be able to understand quantum mechanics. What if, in the same way that chimpanzees' intelligence doesn't allow them to understand quantum mechanics, there is something that our intelligence does not allow us to comprehend, something perhaps so distant from us that we are not even capable of perceiving it? But let's look for the counter-argument, and if it's really true that humans have reached the top step and there is no higher level of intelligence, well, this could also be the case. We can't know intuitively. This option would be the least likely. But maybe we have surpassed a before and after line. Maybe there is a point at which the staircase ends and we reach a flat surface. Think about it, it really seems like there is nothing that can resist us. We are starting to understand the very nature of the universe with quantum mechanics. Once we do this, it seems like we know everything. It's challenging, but it seems obvious that sooner or later, if we let enough time pass in a few centuries, the most intelligent humans will manage to decipher the reality of the universe completely. There will be nothing left to understand. We will know exactly how everything works. For humans, there will be no buildings that are confused with mountains unlike the chimpanzees. Perhaps we have already crossed a line in the progress of intelligence, a line, a saying, beyond which there are no higher intelligences that we could confuse with nature itself. Hopefully it is so. But let's not forget about the chimpanzees and humans because in our relationship, 
lies the proof that it is very likely that such a peak does not exist because it is far away. Think about the billions of years that life and intelligence have existed on this planet. It seems almost arrogant to think that we have reached the pinnacle of intelligence on this planet just a few hundred thousand years ago. And this gives a bit of revulsion, seriously. The feeling that there is something we will never be able to understand. Not for lack of time, but because of the fact that we are like, this is frightening. Stop and think about it. A vast universe that we have so far wanted to comprehend may be inhabited by much superior intelligences. Surely not many, but very likely they exist. We may be mere bacteria on the absolutely relevant staircase, and there may be human equivalents unaware of our existence. Or perhaps they are not unaware, in the same way that the ant you stepped on a few days ago was unaware of your subsistence, and perhaps you also unaware of its. This idea may seem a bit far from scientific thought. After all, we are doing nothing but pure speculation. But what is a fact is that there are only two options. Either we have reached the peak of intelligence, beyond which there are no superior intelligences, or, and this is the most likely by far, humans are just another step in a staircase that who knows how far it reaches, the staircase of intelligence. Another unknown is whether intelligence has a limit. In an infinite universe, the staircase could rise endlessly, yet the universe's true size remains unknown, there may be a highest step after all, a distant, currently unfathomable ceiling. One avenue we've hardly explored is artificial intelligence, AI. On this planet or another, it's possible an organic intelligence like ours could birth an AI capable of recursively improving itself. We haven't achieved that yet, but if such an AI emerged, its intelligence could increase exponentially. Unconstrained by biology, this superintelligence could reach realms of cognition we can't even conceive of today. It may happen within decades here, though our current AI remains rudimentary. Still, machine learning techniques like genetic algorithms hint at AI's potential for open-ended self-optimization. This makes me wonder, is collective intelligence the only way to keep climbing? Just as an advanced AI would network many cores, perhaps we humans must collaborate our minds to transcend individual limits like ants do. An ant alone is blind and feeble, but the communication and coordination of an ant colony allows them to create complex, highly organized structures and systems that far outstrip what any individual could do. Each ant has a simple, narrow role, but together they achieve astonishing complexity. Maybe we've reached a similar point where the next big steps can't be taken solo, only through the combined efforts and intelligence of many. To keep ascending, we may need to harness the collective brain power of humanity as a whole meta-intelligence. In a sense, we've already begun as the internet exhibits properties of a decentralized, emergent network like an ant colony. No one person truly understands all the layers and dynamics that allow the global internet to function. Yet through our specialized roles and interactions, coordinated collective intelligence emerges. This hints at a path forward even if individual human minds cannot fully grasp the highest complexities and deepest truths of reality. For there seem to be phenomena and aspects of the cosmos currently beyond our comprehension. Not just the mechanics of individual celestial bodies light years away, but the fundamental nature of existence itself. Quantum mechanics, the origins of the universe, the essence of consciousness. Our scientific models are mere approximations, and we may never attain a complete unified understanding as individuals. I don't mean we're eternally doomed to ignorance, but the human species alone seems to have inbuilt limits. Like how a chimpanzee can peel bananas, but not grasp grand cosmological questions. We've only scratched the surface of knowledge. There are wonders and complexities we can sense but not yet decipher or fully embrace. Yet what if we merge biological and artificial intelligence? This cyborg path seems increasingly probable and perhaps inevitable for our evolutionary trajectory. There are already pioneers like Neil Harbison, the first recognized cyborg. Born colorblind, he had an antenna implanted in his skull that lets him perceive colors as vibrations he can hear. By expanding his senses through cybernetics, he can experience realms of reality previously inaccessible to his unaugmented human biology. If we all gradually integrate our intelligence with AI systems via neural interfaces and biological enhancements, the line between human and machine could disappear. We'd no longer be purely biological entities, nor have the same cognitive limitations. Fusing our brains with artificial intelligences could provide the exponential boost to keep climbing the infinite staircase. Biological constraints would fall away, allowing our minds to rapidly scale, accelerate, 
and evolve in sync with recursively self-improving AI systems. What was once incomprehensible complexity could be rendered simple by our enhanced intellects. Like a low-res image becoming hyper-clear, the deepest truths of reality may be revealed as straightforward once we attain higher resolutions of consciousness and cognition through our machinic merger. Most tantalizing is the possibility that the complexity we currently see is merely an illusion born of our limited biological aperture. Once we sabbath that membrane, the seamless elegant mechanics of universe could be laid bare. Yet it wouldn't be a cold, calculating artificial superintelligence unraveling these truths, but a metamind, a hybrid, globally interconnected coalition of human and artificial intelligences. A sort of quasi-biological planetary super-consciousness that is still, at its core, an emanation of our human ancestors' curious, ingenious, perpetually climbing drive to understand and transcend our way up the infinite staircase. We seem to be the first entities in our cosmic neighborhood to awaken to our own existence, climbing this tower of progressively greater intelligence and awareness. With that self-reflective evolutionary gift, Perhaps we can carefully midwife our coming cybernetic shibboleth to keep our ascent going and eventually reveal the full glory of the high realms that currently dwell in the peripheries of our comprehension. The choice is ours, how we design and steer our technological integrations and collaborations as a species. If we get it right, this child of biology and machinery could one day expand humanity's cosmic inheritance and bestow the perspicacity to grasp even the staircase's ultimate height or lack thereof. Then we'll know if the intelligent staircase spirals on infinitely or if there's a final step after all.